Hi folks, welcome to our channel. So we uh, took delivery of a few hundred cells. Uh, so I'm gonna unbox them now. We are quite excited about these because these are uh, from a very trusted supplier, the one that we normally buy our 280 amp hour cells from. And these are 304 amp hours. So I wanna just open these up, look at what's in the boxes, look at the condition. And we're uh, pretty stoked about getting to build batteries that are based on th on on more than 300 amp hours. It's quite a remarkable thing to get a 300 amp hour in a standard battery size replacement. So these are our 280 amp hour batteries that we sell. You can just move on to here. So this is our Ops 280, uh, which in itself is quite remarkable because 280 amp hours in a standard battery size with a 150 amp BMS um, with Bluetooth built in so you can connect to this to see what's going on. It's a pretty good battery um, <clears throat> But uh, let's start checking what's in these boxes now. I suspect the smaller box has got two cells <coughs> It kind of looks like the standard boxes we get it would normally have two cells in them and Usually very very well packed. I'll look at this uh, really good quality bus bars so I'm pleased with that, uh, but we'd, that's what we'd expect from this particular supplier. Uh, uh, very well padded, very well packed cells. But the only way I can get them out is to lift them up using the terminals, but that's never been a problem. That's uh, exactly what I wanted to see. That's really great. 304 amp hours. I'll compare it size-wise with an existing cell in the moment but we think that they are completely standard size. <coughs> so that's the second one. And uh, let's put this packing. You see this packing here? Look at this, this is incredible. So you've got these four corner protectors with a very thick, thick layer of foam. And uh, two cells in there, very well padded, very well protected on the corners. Look how thick this is. This is what, nearly five centimeters. This is really good. That's what keeps them nice and safe and sound. Right. So <clears throat> those are the two cells. We're just going to compare them with our. They come against each other really nicely. I know when we uh, charge them, they'll expand a little bit, just two millimeters or so. Um, but they are looking quite snug against each other at the moment. Uh, we are testing some that uh, were horrifically bulged not from this supply from somebody else um, see that's this is a 280 amp hour cell these are 304 they have the qr codes uh, these really really good quality welded uh, terminals here these studs on here uh, we took we can talk them down to 10 newton meters we prefer around about eight but uh, they, they can take a torque of 10. And this very small surface area is not a problem when you're talking so high. In fact, we've, uh, we've really pushed them to their limit and they don't, they don't get hot. So we have stress tested them and they come out tops. So, <clears throat> so far pleased with what I see. Those two, I suspect this has got some cells in a case. So let's have a look at this now. Padding away, loads of padding here, and there we have two cases. Put the padding to one side. Look at this if you can come close up here. So we got two two cases, very again very well padded. Um, pleased with that level of padding. And if I can take one out and put it here. That's that's pretty good padding for this case. These are empty cases come and they normally put 
two cells into a case for us. In this particular case, they only have one. But that's that's cool. A lot of padding around this, just to save weight and reduce the shipping costs. Um, so this is the third one, and there'll be a fourth one in there. Again, uh, very well padded. They they can't be. I mean, I look at them carefully. Absolutely no damage. And look very carefully at the studs on that on the, the terminals. No damage there at all. The, uh, as I said, no bulging. They come right against each other. And uh, so we'll be using these to build a series of 304 amp hour uh, batteries <coughs> in a standard battery replacement size. Uh, I, I say that with caution because you can't always just simply replace the battery. Sometimes your charging system is not appropriate for lithium ion phosphate. So these are life PO4 lithium ion phosphate and um, they, they require, to get the most out of them, they require a certain charging uh, profile to, to maximize your return on investment. Um, you can, in theory, just use a lead acid charger, but they'll never or not easily reach their full state of charge. And if you have an equalization phase that is really brutal, you could maybe damage these or the BMS. Um, so you should really use a proper charger, but you can get away with lead acid chargers if you don't have another charger. Um, so, thanks for watching, folks. Uh, we'll be taking the other one out, uh, get these down to our uh, heated shed for top balancing, and uh, once we've finished the top balancing of these, uh, we'll then be putting it, putting them into our heated booth, which we have another set that we're about to test over here in our heated booth. Um, the purpose of this is to bring the cells up to 20, 25 degrees centigrade uh, so we fare on the suppliers. It's no use testing at too low a temperature and getting a, a, um, a less than optimal result and blaming the supplier for that. So to be fair on the supply, we need to get it up to 25 degrees or somewhere around 20, 25 degrees and they seem to be happy with that. So thanks for watching and uh, we'll uh, hopefully see you when we get the uh, results out from the capacity test. Thank you.